You know, I just can't seem to wrap my mind what causes a penalty in this league anymore. So the Sabres lose 5-3 to three in regulation to the Florida Panthers. I mean, it's their first regulation loss, and I don't rem remember the last... Oh, it was the Edmonton 6-1 to one loss. But for the point streak that they had, for the amount of wins they put up in March, and how they did well in the RJ game, you know what, guys? I'll take it. I don't mind a loss here tonight. Excuse me for that, but I've kind of gotten confused that it wasn't a night game. It was a 1 o'clock afternoon matinee game. But to start it off, guys, you know, Buffalo had a pretty good start to the first period. They got the first and only goal in the first period. It was a nice deflection by Kyle Post as he was getting cross-checked from behind. So, you know, it was a good, exciting start off. And Dikarski made some good saves. And then it went just pretty much downhill in the second period. Because in the second period, uh, even though Dakarski made some nice, fantastic saves, he let out some juicy rebounds, and the defense was a little bit out to lunch on some of these goals, and Florida found itself scoring three straight goals, making it 3-1, to one, pretty much going into the third period. And the third period was out to a rough start. Darlene, I don't know what he was doing on defense, but that goal... I felt like you take that goal away. We were either probably talking about a 3-3 tie or a possible, you know, game in overtime. Who knows, you know, if that goal never happened. Now, I'm not blaming the defense on this, but it was a collective team effort to try to battle back against a number one scoring team in the National Hockey League. But the fact that Buffalo, you know, just took a nap in the second period, they have a tendency to do that in the second period, don't they? <coughs> but for... Everything that happened in this game from the no calls, you know, pretty much once again, referees not calling anything, you know, makes me wonder what makes a penalty in this league. You know, what do you have to do to draw a penalty or to, you know, for a penalty to be called? But then in the third period, towards the end, when we were down four to three after two straight power play goals, one by Jeff Skinner, one by Tate Thompson, those guys are the top of the top, you know, when it comes to our team. But... Just to think about those two lousy penalties that they gave to Florida. I think it was all because of Anthony Duclair's bitching, you know, about the one penalty that he got. Well, guess what? Anthony Duclair does nothing but bitching. Bitch, 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 bitch. Man, trying to calm down here. You know, I'm trying to see the positives of this. Two for two on the power play. Okay, that's a positive. Had more face-off wins than Florida. Okay, there's another positive. But shots block shots and hits the physicality in this game you know we got pancaked in that in those categories um resulting pretty much in florida winning this game and to be honest with you guys you know as much as i hate to see us lose especially when i want to see us compete great against top teams a little bit sour but it's mainly because of the lousy officiating in this game. That's, you know, my, you know, frustration right there. So, all in all, guys, you know, I can't really say much that, you know, you know, defense and goaltending had their bad moments in this one. Jacob Bryson with that slip up in his own zone where Claude Giroux picks off the puck and, and Pretty much sets up the tying goal at 1-1. Um, Darlene out to lunch on that goal. that made it 4-1. What was he doing? Don't know. Tokarski let out a couple of good rebounds that, you know, where those goals went in and he couldn't get himself in position to stop it. One issue of my, a oh, few issues of mine, it was pretty much refereeing in this game, was um, pretty much Tokarski taking a shot in the helmet his trap's coming loose, and the referee's not blowing a whistle. Where's the whistle? You know, why didn't the play stop? But he get, was able to get fit, things fixed, and that was taken care of. Uh, the guy just trying to make a jump over Tage Thompson's skate, uh, stick, they end up calling it a trip. And Samuelson was, looked like a real good tie-up, ends up getting called on a penalty, which was a late, late damn whistle. Late whistle. Sorry, I almost said wait whistle. What the Toria find the nuclear weapon? But I just hope they can keep up that tenacity and that fight. You know, 
throughout the rest of the year, throughout the rest of this month, because this is the last month of the season. Um, you know, Florida's on their way to the playoffs. And they just got their most wins in franchise history in a single season. So kudos to the Florida Panthers. And of course, you know, Sam Reinhart, Brandon Montour, former Sabres on that team. Um, don't really have much envy for them because, I don't know, they, you know, it was more of a hatred towards Eichel than anybody else, but off the side there. Um, in conclusion, guys, I'm glad that they battled back even though it was 4-1 tor towards the start of the third. You know, the 2-for-2 two two on the power play, you know, not giving up. And, of course, Knight is 3-0 and against the Sabres this year. I don't see the Panthers winning the Cup, but then again, I've been wrong before. Their defense and their goaltending has not been the greatest. Um, but their offense is wicked. I will admit it is wicked solid. And for how this game went, I give both of them some credit. Too bad we couldn't get a point out of this game to show our efforts. But I just hope that they could do this, bring this effort into the game against Carolina on Tuesday. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one. It was a nice, you know, game to have on a Sunday. But thank you all for watching this video. If you like, if you liked the video, click subscribe to my YouTube channel. And give me your opinions on what you thought about this game. Leave a comment. And... Let's stick it to Carolina. I want to see Owen against Carolina on home ice. Oh, I would love to see that. Stick it to Rod Brindamore. I still hate you for that 07, for that 06 Stanley Cup. Then again, you're, you had a former teammate who's now our general manager. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could say I'm a sourpuss. But take care, you guys. Have a good day. Enjoy your Sunday.